Well, four years after the NSARS movement that was fueled by resistance against police brutality in Nigeria, the country could be on the cusp of a similar movement in the wake of a planned nationwide protest against bad governance with effect from the 1st of August. Now, that planned protest has been the main thrust of national discourse for weeks and has divided public opinion with calls in equal measure in favor of and against it. Well, we are now being joined by Olabode George, Chief Olabode George, a former military administrator and politician for well, what he thinks about the proposed protest, the People's Democratic Party's uh, preparations for the upcoming governorship elections within Edo State and other house clearing matters that are affecting the party uh, as of today. Good to have you with us on Newsday. It's always a pleasure to have you uh thank you very much it's always a pleasure for me too mm. well chief george it seems that the government is in a panic uh, we have seen uh lots of individuals come out to make sure that they make it clear that they do not want a protest to uh, happen we have seen many people pull out of these said protests as well we've also seen how the protests play out uh, played out violently within kenya what are your thoughts? Is Nigeria a ticking time bomb? I don't want to use as a retired general. If you, if, you, if, you, if you use that word, it means you have galvanized the people for violence. For me, we're in a democratic dispensation. People must be able to express their, their feelings about the activities of the government. It, 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 Nigeria is not a private enterprise. If the people are not happy, let me appeal to both the government and those people who are preparing to do this demonstration. Let there be peace. Please, don't get violent. Go out peacefully, explain yourselves, let the leaders explain to government. Because when you listen to the policies of the government, the way they are manipulating and trying to, to, to give uh, economic solutions to the problems, it is mendacious and absolutely manipulative. And people, you know, when I hear we are buying palliatives, we are doing... Look, it is an old saying in English that teach me how to fish and I will feed myself forever. But if you keep giving me fish, there will be a time I, I may want something else and you don't like it. Part of democratic activities is for people to react Otherwise, where do you get the feedback from? I said it before. All those people in the National Assembly, to help people from their constituencies, they must be prepared to reduce 50% to 50% their, their, their allowances and salaries. You know, okay, look at this issue of 70 Naira given by the president. Nigeria is not a microcosm. Nigeria is a massive nation. What is the business of, of, of the national government in the state, management of the states? We need to go and refigure, we need to go and restructure and reduce the, the, the impact of federal government on local governments and states. I mean, if we don't restructure, we are wasting our time. No. Part of you, you, you are looking at, I, I retired as a general. Yes, the military organization requires a pyramid. Directive comes from the top to the bottom. But in a democratic dispensation, the powers must come from the base to, to up. If they are not feeling the impact of your government, they have the right to exercise their voice. But I want to plead with Nigerians. We are at the edge of, we, we, we are the precipice of total collapse now. 
let them handle this issue with decorum, with commitment, with dedication, and listen. That's why I said on both sides, I want to appeal to those who want to go on strike, please don't go into violence. I know you are, you are angry because you are hungry. Let them know. Let the president himself see it. If they have been telling him stories that don't add up, let, let him see. You know, every time you go to National Assembly, this, you want to do something in the local government, what has he got to do with the national government, for God's sake? Let's revisit the, the, the constitution that was given to us by the military. It looks completely like a military organization. No. Power must come from the bottom up, not from the top down. We've been talking about insecurity. We're talking about uh, lack of uh, food insecurity. And I, 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 we can do something. There, you know, I said it before, there are two devils left behind when the British left Nigeria. The first was this tribalism. They implanted is a devil. Then the second one is religious bigotry. What has those two issues got to do with managing people? Nobody selected him, said oh, that, that I want to be a Yoruba man, an Igbo man, an Awusa man. No, you just popped out. And the almighty God, whether you are a Muslim or Christian, is irrelevant. In, in all religions that I know, you are told, love your neighbor as yourself. What you will not accept, don't do it to another neighbor. So, so we, does it matter? Because the day you pack up and you die, that's the end. Let us have an impact of, 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 of governance. It's democratic. Look, there was a report during uh, President Jonathan's uh, regime. A report on the Constitution, a review of the Constitution. It didn't start today. This mess didn't start today. It started when General Buhari was head of state. He threw up the, 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 the report and said they should put it in the archives. And Mr. Tinubu should now wake up, look at the issues, listen to the people. They don't, they don't want to. They, 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 are, they, are, they are just sending their feelings. And this issue rages from the uh, swampy forest in the south to the savannah regions in the north. Every corner in Nigeria, I've met a lot of Nigerians here. They see you, they come, they say, Baba, what is going on? You know, so let us be humanistic. Let us have the feelings of, 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 of the Almighty God for the grace of our people. Things are not working. Everything is degrading. I'm not saying we should head into what they did, they did in Kenya. No. Nigeria is, is more civilized than that. But don't prevent them from exercising their fundamental right to tell you, like a feedback, that we are not happy. You know? So for me, it, 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 we got, the government has to be careful. And all the other uh, uh, agencies, and they should, they should follow them, you know? but don't shoot at them. And anyone that is making any, uh, any uh, violence, they can isolate them, grab them, and take them away. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Body. George. And you, you, also, yeah, you also asked, yes, yes, you also asked on the, uh, same, uh, the uh, election in a do state. Mm. I, want to, I want to thank Governor Baseki. And I want to thank the uh, governor in waiting for PDP. Please, let us be very careful. Now, I was told that INEC, oh, they will manipulate, you know, the way they handled elections. We have passed that stage. Let the will of the people prevail. Don't manipulate this election. The whole world is watching us. The whole world is watching us. All these investors you want to bring to Nigeria, you want this, you want that. How would I be interested in coming if you can't manage yourselves? 
I, and I, I want to appeal to the managers of our party, especially the board of trustee members. They should get involved to resolve all these crises because they are personal. You, 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 for how long would you be? God told us three scores and ten is guaranteed for you as, a, as your existence. After that, you're already in the departure lounge. It's only, you're only waiting for him to call your flight. So what do I, people like us, want to do? Eh? We had people like Papa Ekweme. He did so much. He was the chief convener of the most sensible, the most rational approach to the management of governance in Nigeria. He brought this idea of zoning and, uh, uh, and rotation. Eh? People want to manipulate that. It is mendacious. It is unacceptable. We need to be very, very calm. There are millions of Nigerians living outside. And everybody wants to come back home to do something. We should allow them. So I, Mr. Tinumbu, the president, please. I said a couple of months ago, I said, okay, let them give you that one year. The one year is over now. For your for your uh, for your learning yes the sir. do's and don'ts chief, of the of the villa chief so now George, on we must go i'd like to ask you actually yeah. i'd like to ask you as a retired general i'd like to ask you about the military releasing a statement about the protests um threatening to get involved if the protests turn violent do you believe that the military should be getting involved in protests in the country some people argue that the military is constitutionally uh, for uh, protecting our territorial integrity, for protecting us from foreign threats, protecting us from invasion. Do you believe the military should be releasing statements about a planned protest? Now, you know, there is a special <coughs> operation. We call it aid, aid to civil power. We call it in the military aid to civil power. If the, the uh, police, the SSS, if they cannot handle any violence, the commander-in-chief will be told that the police cannot handle. That's when you get the military involved. Well, we had been, I've also taken part in this aid to civil power. You will be, you will be organized to make sure that they, 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 their presence alone will make, will make the people be, quite, be, be very calm. And I am appealing. I have seen so many things in this country, in this life. Is it when you go out to shoot somebody? Do you know whose child it is? Do you know what value that we will, will, will provide? This is a democratic dispensation. Even during the military government, they had protests. You must allow people to vent their, 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 their anger and whatever they have perceived as your, your approach to solving the problem. If they are not satisfied, they must talk. They must talk. But please, on the other side, I want to plead with Nigerians. Please, don't run and turn the whole place into a violent environment. I beg you, exercise your wishes. Exercise your, 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 your depth of, 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 of dissatisfaction with the government. You have a right to do that. Nobody can take that away from you. But please, don't be tempted to go into violence. And policemen, too, I want to plead with them. These are your Nigerians. These are fellow countrymen. So why, why would you want to go and shoot at them? Except those, you know, sometimes when you gather, <laughs> once you are more than one or two, some people can see that as an opportunity to create violence. They themselves, the protesters, can arrest those guys and hand them over to the police. <coughs> that is the most sensible thing to do. It happens anywhere in the world. And that the military made a statement, yes, in case the uh, thing breaks down and the police cannot handle it, we call it an aid to civil power. That's where you bring the, the, the military to assist. But I'm sure in their depth of mind, they will never want to shoot at a, a, a citizen who is a bona fide Nigerian. Why would he want to kill your, your people? Why? There are, you look at it. Yesterday, Netanyahu, the Israeli president, went to America. 
to address the Congress. Outside that Congress, there were thousands and thousands of Palestinians who were protesting. Yeah, but nobody, because the, the, the police presence may ensured that nobody went wild. So why can't we do that? Why do we keep uh, uh, encouraging these two devils that, uh, like I said, the British left behind? And we've not been able to resolve it. Tribalism and religious bigotry. Absolute nonsense. Absolute, look at the way they changed their government here. You know, conservative was in government for 16 years or more. And then they did the election. The people said they are tired. Well, Let Chief the INEC wake up. Chief Let George. the INEC do what is proper. Chief George, yeah. uh, yes, speaking yeah. of uh, governments, well, first yes. of all, we hope that calmer heads prevail and um, whatever grouses that uh, the country has, that the, it is made clear and the protests aren't violent. But I want to move on to uh, the Edo State Governorship uh, that is uh, run that yeah. is going to be coming yeah. up. Election. The suspension of uh, Dan Orby, how do you feel this will uh, impact the way that the government and the uh, elections roll out. You know, I also <coughs> was vice chairman Southwest. Obi uh, Dan, Dan is the vice chairman South South, and it happens to come from Edo State. There had been disagreements between him and the governor for a while. Now, the party is getting into a worse scenario. You know, as a general, let me use it like that. Get it, because the election, you cannot afford to be divided. Because a divided house will be a defeated house. This is the time I want to appeal to the vice chairman, South South, Obdi, Dan Obi, to calm down. No individual can be bigger than a state. Come down and work with the others. What is our board of trustee members doing? It's very critical because the number one political fellow representing the whole South South is OB. So you 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 want to? I don't know what he did, but whatever it is, the leaders of the party must be able to reflect. That depth of commitment, that depth of oneness, that depth of loyalty to the party. The party comes first. You heard what uh, General, I mean, uh, uh, Papa uh, uh, Biden said. He said, for the sake of his party, for the unity of his party, and for the sake of his country, he's bowing out. Why? What is it? There is nothing perpetual in life. Those who suspended it, I, I, I mean, I've been out now for a while, so I don't know what he, the offense he committed. But let the elders, who are the elders in the room? That's why we have the board of trustee. This election is just around the corner. I could see Oshio Mole and uh, the deputy governor who, who, who ran away from the party, uh, 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 a court order brought him back. Oh, thank God they are towards the tail end of their governance. And they should be very careful. I know Edo people. When they put their minds in a direction, please don't stop them. Abi, uh, the vice chairman, must come back. He must be invited back to join. Honey, he, he, what is so sacrosanct, what is so difficult in trying to do that? You know, we all cannot sleep and face the same direction. But we must be able to disagree, but you must never be disagreeable. I can't see what he, he would have gotten to that level. We are dividing, we are opening the gates for the opposition to walk in. It happened before, and we suffered it. Yes. Chief Murray George, you have said that one man is not bigger than the state. He's not bigger than the party, and you also than just the, uh, than the party. But you also just absolutely. mentioned that um, Philip Shaibu, the former mm. the deputy governor, who has now been overturned yes. by a court order that is being 
um, argued just brief, very briefly because he has been seen with the APC governors who have gone to meet the president. He's been seen just today and yesterday with APC governors in Abuja. Um, do you believe that Shaibu's going to the APC, returning back to the APC, spells disaster for the PDP in the Edo State elections? And do you believe that if Edo State, if PDP loses Edo State right now in these elections, that is a huge blow to the PDP as an opposition party in Nigeria. I know. <laughs> PDP is the, the political Iroko tree in Nigeria. I'm not afraid about that. But let me tell you something. Let the man in Nainek be prepared to be just to be fair <coughs> and to be equitable. The, 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 these three words are the uh, enabling platform, the structure that gives a state stability. Let them not manipulate and be mendacious about their approach to the managing of the election. No individual is bigger than the state. He's just one off. He's not, he was not the first chairman of the South-South, and he won't be the last. Now, this Shaibu fellow, Shaibu must recognize that he joined voluntarily the party. They accepted him. The governor accepted him. Even if you had, you, 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 you only need to listen to what Al Biden was describing uh, his vice president. So, Shaibu, because you didn't get that, that doesn't mean the end of your life. Now, you are now back in your office by a court order, and you are now holding meetings. You went before Shiomole, an APC uh, member. You knelt down. You were begging him. They said you should report. <laughs> How would you like your name to be written? How would you want your children to read about your performances and your attitude in future? God, whatever you do today becomes history tomorrow. How would you want to be remembered? You know, it, 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 it's, it's audacious and it's, it's so saddening. Why would you, a young man like that, you, you are a member, a structured member of the party, because you didn't get uh, the ticket, then the roof must fall. Take Papa Ekweme. He was the convening, the chief convener of those members, the, 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 the foundation leaders of the party. He invited Chibola Ige, who could never sit down to discuss anything with him politically. He invited Jim Oboro, invited Papa Solomon La, invited uh, Rimi from Kano. These are people who are politically uh, uh, diverse, but he, he was able to bring everybody to the table. To a room to look at our nation. What is the best approach? How do we do it? Remember, even at that time, Baba Obasanjo was in prison. He wasn't part of the G14 or G18 or G32. But who benefited? He also, Papa Ekweme contested. He lost. He did not make any noise. He remained a member of the party till he died. Because th that, that sensible thing he did will remain indelible in the fibers of, of, of uh, any political party. What has kept the whole polit politics uh, afloat in Nigeria till today? It was the concept he organized, divided Nigeria into six geopolitical zones, and the, also stated six top positions in the land. So every zone, whether you are minority or majority, you go home with something. What else can be better than that? Because you can't continue to be a member of an organization and you don't benefit. That was the collapse of the first republic and the second republic. So I want to plead with this uh, young man, uh, Shaibu, you call his name? Yes, Let him be very careful. I pray that he will get old. Don't let them use you. Well, well said, Chief Olabode so George. Fire. Very, very well said. Uh, our time is far spent. It has been great uh, speaking with you. Thank you once again for joining us here on Newsday.